Hey everybody, Mike from RV Blogger here in front of the camera and Susan's behind the camera. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at three campers in the limited edition series of Northern Light Truck Campers. And be sure to stick around till the end of the video where you can see the biggest and best one last. Hey, if you've seen us before on YouTube, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time seeing us, welcome aboard. Susan and I invite you to subscribe to our channel so that every week you'll be notified when we put out a brand new video. And we also invite you to visit us over on our website at rvblogger.com where we have hundreds of articles all about RVing there as well. And we also invite you to subscribe to our free monthly digital magazine called RV Camping Magazine. Totally free, we'll put a link in the notes down below. You can jump on there and subscribe and join in on all that fun as well. But without any further ado, let's get started with our reviews of the Northern Light Limited Edition Campers. This truck camper is the Northern Light 811 EXLE, and this truck camper fits on a three quarter ton short bed truck. The unloaded vehicle weight on this camper is 2,832 pounds. It measures in at 16 feet, three inches, and the center of gravity on this truck camper is 39 and a half inches. So in this camper, Susan's standing at the back door and shooting in towards the front of the camper. I'm sitting up here on the camper bed. You'll notice a bathroom and a refrigerator, but we'll cover those in just a minute. But all the way up towards the front here, this is a full-size queen mattress, by the way. It's 60 by 80 inches long. You'll notice that there is storage on each side of the bed, nice and deep, plenty of room in there. There's also reading lights above, more storage on this side. And you'll also even notice there's a skylight, which you can open and close right here so you can get some nice fresh air blowing in here. There's also a storage cabinet over here that opens up. There's a bar on top so you can hang things, but it's nice and deep in there. And on the other side is a TV location, perfect spot that's mounted so you can lay in bed and watch TV in the evening. You can also take that TV and swivel it around so you can see it from the dinette. So it's really in a perfect location. And finally, there's one other nice feature, which is this little curtain that can close and create a little privacy up in the sleeping area. The dinette that's in here can easily seat two people. You could squeeze four people in here if you really wanted to. And the dinette also turns into a bed, which is 37 inches wide by 72 inches long. So you could sleep somebody that's up to six feet tall pretty comfortably in the dinette location. And then of course you have a nice window over top of the dinette table. There's also some additional accent or reading lighting here and a nice light above the dinette as well. In addition, there's some storage underneath of one of the dinette booth seats. The kitchen area is an inline kitchen, which I really like because everything is right in line, very accessible and easy to get to. Starting from the left side over here, you'll notice you've got some storage above. There is a small microwave in here too, and it's just the perfect size for one plate of food. Not too big, not too small. You also have additional storage up top over here of the range hood. The range itself has a three burner stove with a big glass top to extend your countertop space. And then they have a sink cover for extra countertop space as well, and a really nice size sink in here. And then you have additional countertop space with your paper towel holder and just a little extra storage area here as well, and your radio controls. You also have a receptacle here and a charging station also. Down below, you have a little flip out drawer to keep some sponges and things in there little drawer for your kitchen utensils, and then even more storage down below that. And then uh, you've got a real oven in here also, which is great for cooking pizza or whatever else you wanna bake in there. And even more storage below the oven for pots and pans and things like that. And this is a mirrored front refrigerator, which is great because you can see yourself when you're getting dressed in the morning or whatever you're doing. And this is a three-way refrigerator that comes included with this truck camper. It's a good size fridge, has a separate freezer and refrigerator, which is always a good thing. Towards the very back of the camper is where you have a wardrobe closet here, which is a coat closet or anything else that you wanna hang. It's nice and big and deep, as you can see. It goes back about two feet and it's also two feet wide. 
Just across from the coat closet is the bathroom that's in here. Now this is a wet bath in this particular model. And I'll jump in here and as you can see, I'm about five feet, 11 inches tall and I've got just a couple inches over my head to give you some idea of the head space. You'll also notice that there's a medicine cabinet that's built in here too. And then down below that, you've got a vanity sink in here and I'm sitting on the commode which passes one half of the elbow test, but not the other. This is the Northern Light Limited Edition Series 96LE. It fits in a three quarter ton long bed or a one ton pickup truck. The unloaded vehicle weight in here is 2,857 pounds. It's 16 feet, six inches long, and its center of gravity is 42 and a half inches. So here I am sitting towards the front of this truck camper up on the bed area and Susan's at the back door shooting in through the camper. You'll notice there's a bathroom on the one side and refrigerator and cabinet on the other. But as you come into the truck camper, you'll notice that just the color in here is really cool. It's got this sort of this orangish cherry color cabinetry in here. They have a nice bedspread that sort of goes along with it and the interior fabric choices are, are really great. But Inside here, you'll notice you've got tons of storage on both sides of the bed. Also, there's a TV location in here that can swivel around so you can see it from bed or from the dinette area. This is a full-size queen bed, by the way. It's 60 inches by 80 inches long. Up top, you have a skylight that opens up so you can get some fresh air in here. And on this side of your bed, there's more storage and there's also a wardrobe cabinet where you can hang things up and it's nice and deep storage too. Also, there's reading lights on either side of the bed back here. And in this particular cabinet, there's a receptacle inside so you can plug things in, charge your phones, whatever you need to do. In addition to that, there's also a little privacy curtain that comes across as well. So here I am sitting at the dinette in here. And as you'll see, this is a very nice U-shaped dinette that's in this camper. So you could easily seat three people here. This also can convert into another bed, which is about 37 by 74 inches long. So a kid could easily sleep here or someone that's under six feet tall could probably squeeze into this space as well. It also has a nice big window over top of the dinette area and then it's got little accent lights on each side. The kitchen area here is a nice inline kitchen and so everything's in one line. And starting on this side, you have a nice storage cabinet. This has a microwave oven in here, which is a small one, but it's certainly big enough for a plate of food. Next to that, you have two more storage cabinets up above. Down below, you have your range hood, three burner stove, Nice big single bowl sink in here, really good size. And then it comes with these covers also, so you, it, it can make extra countertop space for you. And then you have some countertop space on the left-hand side over here, along with your paper towel holder and just a little spot for extras or whatever you might wanna throw in there. Then you've got drawer space down below, your kitchen sink, and even additional storage underneath. And in addition to that, you've got a real oven in here as well. Below the oven, you have a nice big drawer for pots and pans and things along those lines. And then next to that, you have a mirrored front refrigerator, which is really cool in my opinion. And this is a standard three-way refrigerator. Right before or right when you walk into the camper on the right-hand side here is a nice big storage closet, which is also a wardrobe closet where you can hang jackets and things like that. It's probably two feet deep and two feet wide. And on the other side, you have your wet bath. Now this wet bath, I'll hop on in here, probably gives you about 6'2 of head space. I'm 5'11", there's a few inches over my head. Again, it's got a medicine cabinet in here. It's got a little bit of a vanity sink in here. And as far as the commode goes, you know, it's a tight fit, but I got one elbow free. This camper is the largest of the Northern Light Limited series. It's the 10-2 EXLE model. It fits on one ton long bed pickup trucks. It measures in at 18 feet, two inches long, and it weighs unloaded vehicle weight at 3,317 pounds. The center of gravity on this camper is 48 inches tall. 
Here I am sitting on the bed in the front of this camper and Susan is standing in the back door and she'll be walking into the camper. You'll notice the bathrooms on one side, kitchen and cabinetries on the other. But in the sleeping area of this camper, you'll notice that I'm on a full queen size bed here. This bed 60 inches by 80 inches. On each side of the bed, you've got these really nice storage cabinets that are very deep. There's also a TV location on this one side, which can swivel around so you can see it if you're sitting at the dinette area. To my right over here is a very nice wardrobe cabinet where you can hang things because the cabinet actually is, goes down really deep so shirts and things won't get too wrinkled hanging in there. A couple nice features also in here are that you have reading lights on either side of the bed. Both side windows open and close as well as the skylight above so you can get a really nice cross ventilation in here. And it has a little curtain that comes across just to create a little privacy in your sleeping area. So here I am setting in the dinette inside of this camper. And this dinette's a little bigger than in the others. It's 40 inches wide by 75 inches long. So a little more space in the dinette, easily could fit, fit three people here. And you know, someone six foot or a little taller could sleep here as well. You'll also notice there's a little bit of storage over top. Oh, my fingers over top of <laughs> this dinette. That wasn't a really great way to open those. And you'll also notice the accent lighting on each side and a nice light in the middle also. Now this table will drop down as I mentioned earlier. And there's also some storage underneath one of the benches. One thing you'll notice in this kitchen is that it's a little bit wider. We have a little bit more counter top space here. And the wood grain in here is a really pretty color. It's kind of got a little bit of gray mixed in with it. It is, it is an upgraded um, cabinet color in here. So I think it looks really nice. Um, over top, you'll notice that you do have your compact microwave oven here, along with plenty of storage over top. Then you have your fan hood, three burner stove top. And then of course your kitchen sink with a cover for extra countertop space. And then of course your paper towel holder and also one nice feature in here is this extra drawer for kitchen utensils and things the other models didn't have it but since this one's longer you get some extra drawer space this is a little flip down door so you can put some sponges and things in here and then there's additional storage underneath of the sink and plenty of it just to the right of that we have a real oven in here and of course down below that you have a big drawer for pots and pans just next to that is a mirrored refrigerator. And this again is a standard three-way fridge that comes in this camper. And it is stocked full of water bottles and we're gonna grab some. <laughs> it's really hot today. We're at the Hershey RV show and it's, it's a nice hot day. Then you have this additional um, drawer down below the refrigerator for some other storage items in here too. This could be good for like cookie sheets or flatter items because it's not a very tall drawer. Now, since this truck camper is longer, in addition to having your sort of coat closet when you first come in, you also have these cabinets as well. So you have a nice big storage cabinet up top and then a bank of drawers, which are deep and fully extendable also. One other really cool feature in here is that there's this pantry storage with a sliding rack that comes out so you can get to everything very, very easily. Plus these racks, you can, you know, you can take them out and there's little hooks in here so you can very easily adjust them up and down to whatever height you would like to have. Now, this model is also available in a dry bath. So when you get the dry bath, this cabinet would disappear and this whole area would be used for the dry bathroom. But as, but as it is, it's a wet bath setup. Uh, I'm standing up in here. Now this is a little taller unit also. So I've probably got about four inches over my head in here. So you could be six, three, six, four and have standing room. Of course, you have your medicine cabinet in here. And then the bathroom's a little wider. And so your vanity sink area is bigger. You have more space for soap storage or shampoo storage, things like that. And you definitely have good elbow space on one side, not so much the other. If you wanna see some more truck campers, we did a review of Lance's truck campers and we reviewed a small, a medium, and a large one to give you a really good idea of what they have to offer. Just click the box down below and we'll see you in the next video. Truck camper, bleh, 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 bleh. camper, well, we found, well, we found. <laughs>